All right, now that we've reached the texturization phase of things, we'll be primarily in Photoshop and Maya for a little bit, and then moving on to something else. So at this point, you should have all your objects with UVs all ready to go. And now we're just going to be texture hunting for a little bit and throwing those textures in Photoshop and taking them and upscaling them into a higher resolution. Uh, I will state it over and over, scale is important. I, that is one of my heart and soul things that I teach online is the fact that students miss scale altogether. And everything looks so bad because scale has been missed. So I'll try to rub off on that scale and get you to the point where you're making high quality, high res meshes. Uh, to get started, we're going to look at brick first because brick is going to be encumbered over uh, one, two, three, uh, f this one. So it would probably be smart of me to start sorting out what my brick ones are going to be and what my other ones are going to be. So we'll put bricks over here, all the brick meshes. Yep, yep. Uh, these are my window meshes, so I'll put all the glass type meshes together. This is a glass block. All my wooden frame type of meshes. So this is my wood wood frame. Uh, this is going to be like a cement. Same with these steps. Uh, this is a wooden texture because that's a beam. Same with this. And this one's going to be a sheet metal texture. So that's the oddball out. So really, if you kind of sort it out, we're looking at uh, trying to produce, you know, brick, wood, cement, kind of a metal, because I would say the metal should all go together along with the glass, and the rest are wooden textures. So not too bad. The one that judges scale the most is going to be the brick, so we would design that one first. When searching online uh, for brick textures, keep in mind I, the students don't buy or sell this stuff. It's just all in hopes of education. So I'm just going to be utilizing stuff online. When you go to Google and search out brick texture, you should look under larger than and always search between the 10, 12, and 15 megapixel when dealing with brick. Try to get as high as you can. And then when we look for brick, we're looking for enough brick so we can pull it off without having um, a kind of a repeated look to it. And we have to have something where when we go into it, I'll be able to see all the little nooks and crannies of it. And I'll say full size image right here, just so I can quickly go in and assess. Yeah, that is pretty high res brick. I think I'll be using this. I don't like the color, but I can adjust the color after the fact. I do like the fact that there are multiple colors here that we can choose from. I like this gray. I do like that brown too. This has a brick right here that uh, I'll have to take and phase out because that brick is going to end up repeating over and over if I use this. All right, wow. I think it's almost done. Yeah, I think it's done. Okay, so. Uh, copy this image and let's go into Photoshop. Again, you'll be doing a lot of this main work in Photoshop. File New. 
Uh, we're going to start out with 2048 by 2048 textures. 72 pixels resolution. And edit paste this in. It's going to be really huge. That's good. What we're going to have to do is downsize it by holding shift and make it about like this. Now, how do, how do I know what size is things? Well, if I go over to here and then I click on the window UV texture editor, you can see that in, in most cases, um, a 2048 map, um, I'm gonna have to have a brick, you know, pretty freaking small. So I can actually uh, mentally look at this and hold it up right next to the one in Photoshop and kind of get the idea there. There's other ways to do it. I mean, I could bring in the UVs and match them up that way. But uh, really, you know, you should kind of learn how to judge things from application to application sometimes. So here, if I kind of resize this to about the same size, scale-wise, proportional on screen, um, I can get an idea on how big a brick is going to be. And there's going to be like about four to five bricks going across the doorway here because bricks are about 8 to 10 inches, sometimes 12. So maybe a little bit bigger than that. All right, so take Alt, click Drag, and that'll make another row of bricks. And then I can just kind of zoom into these bricks and take my eraser tool and take Chalk. And I like to take the Chalk eraser and go into Brush, and turn it to brush dynamics, angle jitter 100%. And what this will do, it'll rotate the brush a whole bunch of times and get rid of um, the idea of a perfect edge. So I make my brush really big and I go like that. And then what I do is I just go like this until things make sense. All right, and I'll do that over and over again. Sometimes I'll do it at the beginning, sometimes I'll add a good space, but I always zoom out and make sure that it makes sense. The arrow tools on the keyboard will allow you to skosh the texture around. All right, once you get one layer done, you can hit Control E and that will flatten those layers. And there you can use Alt to click and drag and make another layer. This time I'm going to cut the top part of the texture. Can I zoom out? And I could a good, cut a good strip in here. And then I'll scotch it around again to make sure that there's some kind of meaning behind it all. Sometimes you'll have to fix up a couple of the grout lines, but not many. Good. And lastly, good. All right, let's hit Control E and fix up some grout lines. Okay, if you zoom in, you'll see these grout lines. They're like right here. Um, what I usually do is I take the clone stamp tool and I'll hold Alt and just fix that brick up. And then I'll use Alt to fix the grout line up. Now you could do this on another layer and there's another way you could do this too. Here's an even faster way. If I take a grout line that goes this way and go edit copy merge edit paste, I could take that one grout line and move it around. And, and uh, afterwards I can hit the move tool, apply it, and just use alt to click and drag it. And I'll do this until I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, keep in mind, over perfection something, uh, over perfecting on something, 
it does, I don't know, like these bricks are going to be really small and the odds of sometimes them actually appearing right in front of is going to be very rare. So keep that in mind. Auto select helps. Oh, there's one over there. So just be constantly zooming in, zooming out, and fixing up these bricks. Uh, in other times, you can use this method. You can use aligned all sample all layers, and then you can just go like that with the clone stamp tool where you don't have to fix the grout, you would just fix the brick and make it bigger. All right, so what I'm gonna do is spend some time and fix up this brick and then meet you in the next video.